Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to your daily dose of daily toy hunts. We are in Target in Anaheim. You can see the beautiful clouds behind me. It was raining today, surprisingly, and it's been like so hot. But um, yeah, we're here at a Target. We're just going to Target today, see if we find anything. And um, I don't know. I got oh, I got some some uh, mail items. Did I say that right? I got some stuff in the mail that I'll show you guys at the end of this video. It's a little haul. Uh, well, so I'll show you guys. At, I'll share that with you at the end of this. But let's head into Target. One thing I like about this Target is like as soon as you walk in, the toy section's like on the right hand side when you walk in the main doors. So it's really convenient. This is the Target where I found the Bat Cycle. Let's see what we got. Oh, they have the cycle there. Uh, we'll go there in a second. Looks like looks like they don't have anything. I got those statues at the bottom. I mean, they have the bat cycle still. This is, see, I got one of those. I did mention I am gonna end up picking up a few of them so I can put my bat family on there. Is this new? I don't know if I've seen this before. Not 100% sure. All right, let's see. Some Batmobiles there. I think I've seen that. All right, let's see what they have. That Ric Flair. Whole lot of nothing, man. Look at, like this is starting to become the peg warmer, right? Moss Man. Whoa, last time you saw there was a lot of them. See, there's a bunch of Moss Mans here. And then over here, yeah, it's like all Moss Man. You, you probably can't see it, but there's more Moss Man. And they have the little mini figures here. I was actually hoping to see some DC multiverse figures maybe some 66 batman i want to pick up a vintage super soaker but i know those are really pricey look at this look at this guys there's what freaking four of them they have sattler here eh not really don't really like that head sculpt and they got several hammonds All right, I'm gonna go to the NECA section if they even have anything because this one tends to not have any NECA figures. Whoa, geez, you can tell already it's empty. Look at this. It's so freaking empty here, man. There's nothing here. Well, they have these. I know these are convention exclusives. The time me and my friend um, Richard went to try to look for that Blacklight Venom, there was a bunch of these there that they weren't street dated or they were street dated. We got some of these the art series. And then we have some Gorns. <sighs> Nothing. We have some X-Men Fig Pins. I have the Gambit one. These are really cool. I need to finish my set on those. I got some Turtles here. Some Plushies. Sometimes, like I say, guys, don't forget to check the gaming section because sometimes they do have figures here. This is where I found the Mortal Kombat chase. Um, they got some Plushies and a few McFarlane Bureau Academia figures. That's freaking it. Right over here, spotted more of the uh, FOMO buys. Two of them. What's this? They got a Back to the Future DeLorean right there. That's the original one. Oh, there's another one right here. I don't know if you guys remember, I almost bought this in another you know, daily hunt video. I'm glad I didn't. This, was a, this would have been a total FOMO buy. I'm actually glad I didn't buy that. I would have regretted it and it would have just been sitting somewhere. They got a gauntlet here. That thing is freaking awesome. See, this one has several uh, Mario Legos. If you guys can tell me in the comments below, is are these like the Wave 2? Like, are these new Mario Legos? This was actually the first... If you, I don't know if you saw the video or not a while back. This is the target I, f I first found the Mar uh, Mario Legos when they first came out. But I don't know if these ones are like the second wave of them because I'm starting to see them again. Jeez, man, I would not mind having this one right here, the ATAT. This is the 40th anniversary. Is this new? You know, I'm telling you guys, I see Legos so freaking much. I don't know what's new and what's not anymore, but this is so freaking awesome. 159, not a bad price for this. All right, guys, I am back home. It's currently three in the morning. It is August, what is today? Today's the 18th. No, today's the 19th as I'm filming this. Um, I was meant to do some more toy hunting, but uh, I wasn't able to do it. 
So I'm gonna show you guys some mail call items, some pickups. Uh, I ended up picking up this. You guys know I'm like on, on a real big Star Wars 90s kick right now. Uh, this is something that I used to own as a kid. I used to read a lot of the old 90s books from Star Wars. And you guys know I'm trying to rebuild my powers of the collection or power of the force collection. So I ended up picking up Legends, Star Wars, Tales of the Bounty Hunters. Now, when I picked this, I got this on Amazon for $7. I thought it was going to be the original one, but it's not. I looked at it and I was like, Facebook? I was like, they didn't have Facebook back in in uh, the 90s. And there wasn't uh, Disney either. It was just Lucas. But so it's, this is basically just a reprint, but it's pretty cool. This is like stories on the bounty hunters and um i want to revisit this i haven't read this book oh my god in well over well over 20 years so i had to get this so it's you know it's got some stories on each of the bounty hunters from the empire Star uh, strikes back so this was available on amazon and um i think i paid under 7.99 so i got this one um you guys know if you watch my hour-long toy hunt video if you haven't watched it check it out i uh, saw this figure here I used to own this one as a kid too. This is the Power of the Force Obi-Wan Kenobi. I got this sealed. I think there it was $9. I paid five bucks for this and it was sealed. The other, the other one at, that I saw at the vintage toy store was open from the Secret Stash and um, I got this one sealed. So pretty cool for five bucks. Not bad at all. And it's like translucent. I always loved this as a kid. I got this in, as a, in a mail away. So this is pretty awesome. You can see there's Obi-Wan Force Ghost pretty cool so that's uh, some star wars pickups there and then i finally got my amazon exclusive summer convention Fun Con funko con i think this is from the cap wolf another 90s comic book cover that i used to love a lot i got the marvel legends of this character and now they have him in funko pop form this guy just looks so awesome. Again, I always loved the comic book cover for this. So it just it, it just stood out to me. I was like a big werewolf fan as a kid, so had to get him. I mean, look at the detail on him, real cool. And then finally, my pre order came in for the dark Skull, dark side exclusive gold label. And I guess this is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. So this is basically dark side the the previous version that we got, except this one does have the upper body armor. I don't know. Uh, the other one is in the in the review room, and I'm too lazy to go get him. But I'll do a review on him. I still got to do a review on the on the Battle Damage Batman Beyond and the '66 Batmobile. So you'll see those later on, as you're watching this video later on t uh, today. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's any different. I was hoping it'd be like a metallic paint finish. Same with the weapon, but it's still cool to have. And there's the gold label there. And then on the back, it does have the card. It's going to be kind of like a black and white version. So that is my little haul. I didn't find anything at Target today, but I did come home to some cool mail. And that was these two came in the mail today, the uh, Captain America and the Dark Side. Um, these came actually a couple days ago. So I figured I'd share this with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Stay tuned. I got more daily hunts coming. And then I believe Spirit of the Halloween opens this weekend. So you guys will be seeing a tour on that and plus a bunch of other stuff. So as I always say, if you guys have picked up anything recently, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching. Later.